Hello everybody and welcome to another episode on the Elite Dangerous Beta. We are back, it's still Beta 3 and I'm in the Beluga Liner. So let's waste no time and jump into outfitting and I'll show you what I've done to the ship. So there she is in all its glory. It's a nice looking ship. Um, it doesn't look like the uh, concept art and to be honest I like the concept art a lot more than this um, if you haven't seen the concept art go check it out google it and you'll agree as well but this looks more like a liner like a cruise ship in space as it were so hard points yeah I've got five hard points all class twos I've just got near two missiles and three beam lasers you see the amounts. You've also got five again. Six, sorry. Nope, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. <laughs> um, I've got chaff on here, point defense. Um, two heat sinks for scooping fuel if it gets a bit too hot. And then just more point defense. Core internals, it's fully aerated. Um, lightweight alloy because to save weight I'm not going to um, when I do buy this ship in the main game I'm not gonna make it fully aerated because I want jump range and then optional internals now this is what I find a bit weird on here we can have anything we want so obviously I've gone for a, a shield generator now, I would rather have a 5A fuel scoop, but we can't. This is all we get. That might be a bug, I do not know. I'm going to say it is, but if it isn't, then I think that's pretty stupid that we can't choose what we have on our um, classes, if you know what I mean. Um, if you want a fighter on here, then you have to get rid of a fuel scoop. Because on here, there we go, can't do it. Same with this one. All we can have is cargo racks and hull reinforcements and passenger cabins. But I'm guessing that's a bug. Uh, number four, here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. We can have anything that we want, and it's the same as we go down. So, yeah, I've, what I've got on here. Oh, yeah, that's the thing as well. On class 3, there's no cabins. Like, it's, it's class 4 and upwards. So I've gone with a cargo rack, a vehicle hangar, and then just um, detailed and advanced discovery scanner. Right, so that's that. So. My shields shouldn't have gone offline in the first place. Why is this all gone to two again? Oh, I, was, I sorted this out earlier. I'm not gonna. I need to in case my I get interdicted. So, thrusters one. Um, shield two, two, three. Right, that should be it. I think on five is turned off. Yep, there we go. So we've got thrusters on class one and frame shift drive on class one. Um, 36% plus three is 39. Um, 40% is your power plant offline, pretty much. So if you take 0% on your power plant, you will have 40% left of power. So that's why I have thrusters and frames just drive on there. Um, right, so let's go into the passenger lounge and see what we can do, eh? 
very exciting stuff. Now, depending on your reputation with the faction, you're going to get the good missions. At the moment, I'm getting crap ones, but when the game goes live at my home system, I'm allied with every single faction at that station, and there's about three Empire factions and uh, two minor factions. So, at the moment, I can just take this bloke. Oh, maybe I can't. This is twice this has happened on me now. The game's frozen. I can't do anything. No mouse. Yeah. Oh god, it's locked out. <sighs> now, if it happens again, then I'd have to do this recording another time. <clears throat> As you can see, it's quarter to ten. I'm up in the morning at half past five. Usually I, I want to be in bed by eleven o'clock, so I've got some time yet. So far, it hasn't disconnected me from the server. <coughs> Again, go on solo just to help connection. You never know. Right. <coughs> Sorry, I've got something stuck in my throat. Um, again, the passenger lounge. So I'll talk you through the different sections here. So this bloke here wants to go sightseeing. Um, he wants to go to one, two, three, four different locations. Uh, one of them 75 light years, one of them 135 light years. Or 116,000. Mm. Make that 11,000 and we'll have a chat. But, like I said, my reputation is neutral, so... Th you know, money mm. doesn't really... But still, I would expect to travel that... The time it would take you to do that. 160,000 credits. All you have to do is kill one ship. And you got that. But again, this is beta, so all this might change. And then I believe, uh, yeah, that's another sightseeing. That one's just a delivery mission. Uh, just that one bloke wants to go there. Now I'm afraid to click on this in case it freezes again. But I can click on these. So she wants to go on an adventure for twenty-eight thousand. Again, it might change. I better do. She wants to go sightseeing. Um, two tourists, so that's like a bulk mission. Want to be transported. I can't do anything here, but that's another sightseeing mission. To so a glorious nebula. For 5.9 million. See, that's better. So let's click on that and see how far we get. Oh, no. Oh, sh the game's locked up again. Right. So again, it does that, so I have to do this to bring it back up again. There we go. Right, guys. Um, so there's no way I'm going to get this video out tomorrow. Um, as I promised on my previous video. So, um, I'm sorry, 
for that, but the game won't let me do missions. And this, if this is going to be a, a mission video, then it needs to work. All right, then, guys. Um, so this video will be late, and I will see you soon. Hello, guys. I forgot to mention I will not be doing the Beluga Liner in VR. But what I will be doing is I'll be getting all the ships I haven't done and do a whole video on that, like the ship tours. Alright then people, enjoy passenger missions. And here we are guys, we are back. And I've, I found the problem. So quickly go back onto the passenger lounge. Um, I cannot click on VIPs. If I click on these, then the game just freezes. I can only click on the non-VIPs. I can go on the uh, bulk passenger missions, as it were. So, should we do a mission? There we go, 24 light years for 173,000 credits. 23 tourists seeking transport to L256-146. Roger that, Captain. We'll do that right now. Man, he looks freaky. So we'll chuck these in the um, economy class. There we go. Alright, what else can we do? 15 tourists are going to LF2926. That's only 5 light years away. I would really want to do these um, VIP missions, <clears throat> but I can't. Now that star is a white dwarf, and it looks really cool, so the passengers might enjoy that. <laughs> um, another transport. So that's one person. I would love to click on it, because I want to see their requirements. I nearly did then for a second. So I'm going to take this one as well, because it's only 5.6 light years away. As if we've got enough space. Yep, we can chuck them in the um, economy class again. <coughs> Excuse me for a second, I'm going to take a quick sip of water. That's better. Right, so let's crack on. So I don't know if the bulk passenger missions can eject from your ship. I know the VIPs can, but I don't know about the others. I hope not, otherwise you can just keep hold of them forever, like haha you're just with me now. So let's go, let's test a ship and I'm going to quickly do something for you guys. Because I watched the video back and I seen the audio was pretty much silent. So I'm going to turn it right up for you. <clears throat> so let's rock and roll. It's a nice sounding ship. Look at that, not a scrape. There we are, top speed, 209 meters per second. So 
sounds pretty cool. So let's boost. That's that's awesome. Well, we can flip it. Let's have a look at this whale then, shall we? It's so big, it's going to take so long to get into frame. There she is. Well, I should say he, really, because... Uh, I'm not going to say anything. It looks like a penis. A bit. It's a space dick. <laughs> we have a space dick. <laughs> I like it. I like those engines. I think they're pretty cool. But man, it takes so long for the camera to pan round. And I wish they get rid of the horrible box that's in the way. Nice, right. Let's go this way before we um, hit mass lock again. Oh, we're getting hot. Hold on, people. You might want to turn on the air conditioning. That's right, I'll just turn on the AC for him. There we are. I love this. I love the look of Super Cruise. Uh, hyperspace, sorry. So the jump range on this ship, well on my one, is 19.62. So it's not a jumper, it won't jump a long distance, it's more like a cruise liner. Take your time and sightsee along the way. And I cannot wait to have a look at the uh, this ship in VR. What's this? Hostile ships. Okay. Alright, we got this. I haven't got a fighter on board. Um, because I can't... Because as you've seen from the loadout screen, I have to get rid of a fuel scoop in order to carry a fighter bay. Um, I believe... I was getting a bit confused at that, really, because we can only have certain modules in certain places. But it's a passenger ship. I can imagine where those modules are. Bear in mind this is a, a ship. They've already modelled the interior of it. Hence why when you target the ship's power plant, everything moves like it's in a certain place. Now here he comes. Right, hold on passengers. Uh, this is your captain speaking. We are getting interdicted by a viper. And um, do you want to see this? You know what, I'll submit, because I can shake this guy. It's okay, people, calm down. We have got three beam lasers and missiles. But I've got no ammo on our missiles. <laughs> What do you think of that, people? Buckle up. 
<laughs> I'm liking this. I know it's like just cargo, but you know they got faces, they got souls. Well, that's a bit too far. If you look out the big bloody window that is towering over you and look to your right, you'll see a red star of some sort. <laughs> a brown dwarf, I believe. Yeah. And I just untargeted where I gotta go. There we go, okay, so we got a reward for that guy. And we might have another guy come after us. Oh no, it's the same guy. So the same guy for two different separate missions. like the way it sounds. Though it does maneuver quite well for a big space deck. Where's the entrance? We're on the wrong side. God damn it. That message won't go away until I do that. So looks like that bug is still present. I don't want to speed. Let's keep it under the speed limit. And looks like we're going to a high tech station. So we scraped the top there. And this place looks really cool. Don't worry, Captain. I'm deploying my landing gear. Seems we have to go quite low to the deck in order for it to um, connect. I won't be here long, Sergey. I'm just dropping off some people. I guess we go into the passenger lounge to, to uh, do this. Yep, there we are. Thanks, Commander. You're very welcome. I could always pick up more if you want to. To be a, um, a space bus. I like it, you know. It's um, very relaxing gameplay. Right, so we'll go to the, our next destination. Which is over here. Up a bit. Uh, there we are. Oh, yeah. oh, I can't have a look at the system map from the galaxy map. So we'll just jump there. I love it. I really like the different stations. I have no idea when the station will be able to come out. But it'll be here soon. Hold on, passengers. A little bit of a bumpy exit. Shields are gone. Near enough. 
I should have put power to systems, but we're good. Clear up the station? I nearly took the station with me. Excuse me all passengers, we're about to enter hyperspace. Please pull up your seatbelts. Oh god. <laughs> so low security. So you never know, there might be some pirates there. Now the transition when you enter hyperspace is a lot better. There's no the um, hitching is not as bad as it was before. It's still there a tiny little bit, but it looks awesome. And hyperspace lasts a lot longer as well. Not by a huge margin. If you look to your right, you'll see a huge star. <laughs> I'm gonna shut up. I believe the real potential for passenger missions will lie with the VIPs. Um, because they want to go sightseeing and go places, that's the missions that I'm gonna grab. Um, bulk missions are good, um, and I believe because I'm neutral, I'm not getting very good missions. But like I said, on my home base, I'm a, um, allied, so I might get a few high payment bulk missions. And I might actually buy the Blue Galona. I was in two minds about it, but I might do it. And how far away is the station then? Hang on. Is this the right place? Well, there we go, folks. Looks like we found another bug. So they're seeking transport to Jones progress. Now, is there a Jones progress here? No, there's not. You can set the filters. Um, there we go, so you've got stations and stars and settlements, and that's what we got. Right system, L258146. L uh, 258146, yep, yeah, right system, no station. I'm glad I caught this on video, um, another bug, so they still need a bit of work, but it's awesome, I think it's really cool. And I believe that'll be it for this um, video, folks. If I can get to the back of the space penis. And I'll uh, get a nice view of it. See, look at that, that's pretty cool. I can't go up. So yeah, I believe the um, slots that we can't use in the outfitting screen will be where like those windows are, and they're just assigned for cabins. That's it. And I do hope when we do get to walk about our ships, it's not just going to be a case of, oh, that's pretty. We can actually do things, um, see the passengers, go into their room and, I don't know, there's a bar on our ship and see if they're having fun or whatever. You know, it's, it's the long run that I'm looking forward to. It's the, uh, the long road ahead. Right then, people, this has been the passenger missions. A rough start, but we've made it. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.